Good morning, friends. Today we are going to read the story called I Can Be Kind. Now we have a character in this story named Mike. Can you say, Hi, Mike? Hi, Mike. Now Mike spends a day at his favorite place, the aquarium. But when he loses his favorite toy, he learns the importance of kindness. Okay? Now, kind is the word, is K-I-N-D. Now, kind can be, you know, like being nice, like being a good friend. All those things show kindness to someone else. Okay? So when we read through the book, we're going to see some ways Mike was kind and maybe some ways others were unkind. We'll see. Here's Mike with his favorite toy. What do you think his favorite toy is? What's it look like? We will see. I'm not going to spoil it. Okay, ready? It's Aquarium Day, I shouted as I came down the stairs for breakfast. It sure is, Mike, said my dad. We can leave as soon as you're ready. In the morning, they are having food at the table. It's breakfast time. Can you find breakfast on your board? Find breakfast time. Good job. I ate my breakfast and put my dishes away. What is Mike doing? What is Mike doing? He is washing dishes. Can you find washing dishes on your board? Good job. Is that kind of him to wash his dishes after he's done? Yes. Yes, it is. He is being kind and helping around the house. I'm ready, I said. Can Finn come too? Sure, said Dad, but hold on to him. Finn is his favorite toy. It's a shark toy named Finn. Can you find shark toy on your board? Good job. We walked up to the aquarium. Now an aquarium is a big place. <clears throat> kind of like a zoo, but it's for ocean animals. So you get to see fishy, some penguins, maybe some sharks, and you get to learn about them. Can you find aquarium on your board? Good job. They're on their way. I helped my dad hold the door for the family behind us. Look, Mike is very excited to go to the aquarium, but he didn't push people. Instead, he held the door for the other family behind him. Holding the door is kind. He's making great choices. That what does that how does that make this family feel? Sad or happy? Yes, it made this family happy that a kind Mike helped open the door for his fa their family. Thank you, said a girl who looked my age. That's so kind of you, said her mother. This girl said to Mike, Thank you for holding the door. How does she feel? Yes, she feels happy. And when you say thank you to others, it makes you 
happy too, and it makes others happy to hear that. Mike's happy. Can we pet the sharks first, I asked Dad. I set Finn down next to me and put my hand into the tank. They are so cool, I said, and they feel smoother than I thought they would. There's some sharks and stingrays at the aquarium that you're allowed to pet that, wouldn't, that aren't aggressive, that won't hurt you. But you would have to ask mom or dad if it's the right tank to pet stingrays and, and sharks and there's a certain way usually it's two fingers and you pet their back just a little bit but he put down his shark toy fin let's see what happens next we're going to the penguin exhibit all of a sudden I realized something was wrong where the what animal are they gonna go see what animal is that? Yes, it's a penguin. Can you find penguin on your board? Good job. Oh no, I cried. Finn is gone. Oh no, he left Finn at that shark exhibit. How does Mike feel right now? <gasps> he may feel scared. He might feel sad because his toy is left and he's not sure if it's gone forever or not. I felt a tap on my shoulder. Are you looking for this? said a girl. She was the one we had helped at the door. Finn, I said, thank you. My dad said, that was so kind of you. Look. She found Finn and she brought it back to Mike. Is that being kind? Yes. That is being kind. Can we find a friend for Finn in the gift shop? I asked Dad. A small friend, Dad replied. I reached for the last shark left. The girl who found Finn was reaching for it too. Oh, look. Both of them want the same toy. <gasps> What's going to happen? Who do you think's going to take it? You can have it, I said. She smiled at me. It felt better to be kind than to have the shark. Mike gave his new friend the toy shark they both wanted. Is giving to another friend kind? Yes. How does that make her feel? Happy. And how does he feel being kind? He feels happy too. It feels good to be kind to our friends. Can you find friends? Good job. The end. Now that is all done for our kind book. So I want you to talk about with your mom or dad or your siblings the book and talk about what are some ways you can be kind at home, okay? I know I'm going to practice kindness by being, being very, very good to my doggies and my cat and taking them out on a walk so they can get some exercise. That's how I'm going to be kind to someone at my house. All right. Well, I will see you later for another book read. Bye, friends.